everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and today's video finally is going to be my review and unboxing of the GCDS X Bratz collab dolls. I'm so grateful that these arrived. I pre-ordered them from Target.com on December 1st, and it's been an ordeal since. They've almost gotten canceled so many times, but I was extremely fortunate that they didn't. A lot of orders got canceled for absolutely no reason, even after doing everything right. I will never be pre-ordering with Target again if I have a choice. And um, these are still restocking. I'll put a link in the description to Yasmin because actually she is in stock right now on Amazon. So you should be able to get her easily. Sasha should come back in stock somewhere else. We'll see. Um, these dolls are so cool. They are so cool. I am so glad I went ahead and got all three because I think they're really cool. And I would have regretted it a lot if I hadn't. Originally, I was going to get Yasmin and Felicia. Um, those three I ordered on December 1st, they all were released on December 1st, at least on Target.com. Um, cause Yasmin had my favorite outfit, but Sasha had my favorite face and hair. So I was kind of struggling, but I went ahead and got all three and these dolls are so cool. First of all, this is one of the first times I have not wanted to unbox them, especially for like a Bratz doll. Look how f these boxes are so cool. And I'll show you these in more detail. Unfortunately, Target put this big ugly sticker right here, but it is on this plastic piece. So I can goog on it off, but that's like, why did they do that? Um, and then Yasmin's is in still not ideal, but it's better. And these dolls are so cool. The boxes are also very interesting. I know nothing about this GCDS brand. I just, I want to support the new Brad stuff that's coming out. And I think these dolls are beautiful. Um, so if you know the relevance of the stuff on the box, let me know. I'm going to turn the camera around in just a moment so that we can look at all the things on the box. I think Yasmin's box is my favorite. I love this big T-Rex that's here for some reason. And um, the art for the characters. Whoever did the character art for these, oh my god. They look so, 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 so pretty. And... They have noses, but they look amazing. I don't know. These are so cool. And then the back of the box is just very fun. I'll, t I'll turn the camera around so you guys can get a better look. So the first one we're going to look at is Yasmin. And her box is, again, my favorite one. I think it's so cool. They're both very interesting, but I just, this dinosaur theme works so well for me. Um, you can see the beautiful character art of Yasmin, which hints at these really cool sunglasses that I think she's holding in this hand that you can't see. And then the box is really cute because you can't see everything that's going on with the doll because it kind of... It's very, very limited, but you get a really good preview of the doll. And I think she looks so beautiful. I love her outfit and I'm so excited to get her out of there. And then the box is depicting like a volcano erupting, dinosaurs, like it's very, it's a lot. Um, and my favorite thing on the box, honestly, this the writing it says GCDS, the girls got dressed up in Italy. I don't know, that's just like a cute way to put it. And then here it says, Shoes borrowed from Chloe, like she wanted to make a special point about that. That's adorable. And these are the shoes. Um, and it says Bratz, Yasmin, passion for fashion. It says there's one set. So I'm interested to see how this 14 plus deal is going to affect the actual quality or pieces of the doll or if it's going to be in a noticeable way. Because the reason even collector dolls tend to be aged at like eight and up or something is because um, it's just easier to get them on the market that way. So it's very interesting that these are 14 and up. It says GCDS All Rights Reserved, GT GCDSWare.com. And it says these were designed by GCDS. And then if we look at the back, the, I love the holographic packaging. It says GCDS Bratz. And then it's this uh, mountain going on with some palm trees, the moon. This is just such a pretty box. There's a volcano. Really, really cool. And then this is actually like a plastic piece. And I already folded in these so that we can take them off. So you just pop this right up. And then you can pop the box open and see your doll and you can see her super long hair her sunglasses her brush you can see the absolutely beautiful art of chloe right here so pretty and then the inside of the box is just like a nighttime theme with the the doll's silhouette or the the character art it's just really pretty i really really like this box and it was really hard for me. I was actually contemplating leaving this doll in box, but y'all know me, I can't do that. She's coming out of the box. Here is Sasha's box. I did already take this piece off because hers had that big ugly sticker on it, like I told you guys. And I really, really love the art of, of Sasha too. I think she looks so beautiful. And it has that same GCDS, the girls got dressed up in Italy. It says Brat Sasha, passion for fashion in a different font. It's really cute. Hers kind of has a... I don't know, like a forest theme to it. It's got these spooky eyes here. For some reason, there's just a Maneki Neko in the tree. I'm not really sure what that's about. Could be a reference to GCDS in some way. I have no idea. And you can see the really pretty holographic packaging all over. And it looks like she's going camping. And then there's this big like GCDS building or something here. I don't know. Um, but that Sasha art is so pretty. Look at her face there. And 
the girls got dressed up in Italy and it doesn't look like Sasha borrowed anything. It doesn't say anything about that on the box. And then if we open it up, just like with Yasmin, it's about the same. It's got the same exact inner box. All right, now that that's out of the way, I'm going to get them out of the box. So when we return, we're gonna get to look at the actual dolls and I'm so excited about this. Yasmin and Sasha are out of the box and these dolls are so mind-blowingly cool. I can't wait to show you guys. But first I wanted to talk you through a little bit of the unboxing process, so. As you know, I took that little sleeve off and then you could pop the box open like this. Um, I chose, or I opted to just cut some tape here and that freed this to open up. And then you could slide this piece out, which is where the dolls are. And the dolls are tied in here, but their stand, I didn't know this, but they come with this giant stand. Um, it's secured in by these little things that you have to turn, but this is the bottom of the retail box. So you actually have to pull this out so that you can open this up and reveal the holes and then you can unscrew the things that are holding the stand in place and then your dolls are free um there were a lot of ties it was a little bit confusing and the way the shoes were held in was really difficult to unbox but otherwise like it was a pretty painless process nothing damaged at all which i really love there wasn't a single tie in the satin on yasmin's outfit which thank you satin pulls so easily so when they put ties through satin it just ruins it so i do think that was an executive decision they made because they really did not put a single tie in there so i'm just i'm so grateful um and then they have these really interesting stands i'm gonna pan the camera down so i can show you their stands are actually a two-parter so you have this big stand but you can take the doll off and have this smaller stand if you want and it works just as well and in this stand there is this little envelope and um, I'm actually going to do Sasha's because I already opened that one. Um, I don't want to hurt this little sticker here. So you can open this up and you get a little certificate of authenticity. They're not numbered or anything, but it's just a cute little inclusion. It makes them feel super luxurious. I actually genuinely really like these stands. I do think if you're not going to use this piece, they're a little bit wasteful, but these are just super cool. And they make it extremely easy if you want to unbox your dolls, but you want to keep the packaging and put them back in the packaging. It makes it extremely easy to do so because you can even keep those little screw things and just screw it right back in the box, slide this back in and you're all set. Or you can really just put them like this in the box and you don't have to tie anything back in place. Genius. I do wish though, because this actually looks like it was meant to be reusable and used with this, that they didn't put all the ties in it like that. But the back of the box is just gorgeous. This like night theme with all the stars and this absolutely beautiful art of chloe and jade which makes me really wish we got the all four of them as dolls because oh my god they look so pretty it seems like chloe and jade are wearing the same thing they're just wearing this big bow thing but they look so cute and i would have loved to see how their screenings would have been imagined because these dolls are beautiful i want to go over a few things that i love about each one first just like this just talking straight to you guys and then i'm going to turn the camera around and show you everything on them up close um Yasmin's hair is amazingly soft. It is, uh, I believe this is nylon. It's very soft, tangle free, absolutely no box hair in sight. It's really, really nice. It's very, it's very like moisturized feeling too. I don't know how to describe that, but it's not dry. It's not tangling. It's just beautiful, beautiful hair. I do think my Yasmin might be, um, I have her earrings on backwards because these are GC and these are DS. So when you're looking at her, it says DS GC, but I don't know. Um, I'll be turning them around though or I'll be moving them. Um, both of them come with these really, really cute bags. So Yasmin's is this like jelly bag. It says GCDS right here. It's almost like a shoe. I don't know if that's the intention, but this looks like the sole of a shoe. Um, and then Sasha's, I it might open, but it sounds like it's breaking when I try. So I'm not gonna try anymore. And it says GCDS X Bratz on, well, not X, just GCDS Bratz on both sides. And it's reasonably cute. It's kind of a cheaper piece. Like I actually really like this vinyl one better. And this one actually does open, which is nice. They don't come with anything to put inside though. They both come with a star comb. Love it. Yasmin comes with the silver one and Sasha comes with the gold one. I'm pretty sure. Um, it would work for detangling her beautiful um, braids, but... I don't know. Just kind of a weird inclusion. And then Yasmin comes with sunglasses. Sasha doesn't come with an extra like this, but I'm pretty sure it's because she has these crazy, um, like, rhinestone contraption on her. I love Sasha's vibe here, but I think Yasmin's overall look is my favorite. Like, I think Sasha looks so, so beautiful. I love that she has baby hair, because this might be one of the first times Bratz has ever done that. So, 
um, and I think it looks really really good on them too and both of I still agree with my past self that Sasha has the superior face and hairstyle like I just think she looks so good but then um Yasmin I just really love this outfit I think it's more my style I love the silhouette of it y'all y'all know how I feel about big poofy sleeves and I love that it's the art of all the girls I think that's super adorable and um Sasha her coat is amazing I love it and it's really high quality and there's even details on the back which I'll, I'll show you up close but it has this like I don't really know what this is but it has it <laughs> I've seen it on real life coats I just don't really know the function of it and I love this I don't know what to call it like rhinestone harness piece thing and um if you guys have seen it like Bratz photographers always make stuff like this like well like Bratz fan photographers I mean and like doll customizers love this kind of thing and I'm really excited to have it because I don't have a single doll with anything like that yet and it's a really really beautiful piece and I think this whole outfit goes together so 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 nicely and then the the inside of the I was called it a cape the inside of the coat is it's satin and again I don't really like satin but it works for what it is and it looks luxurious and it has the bunny boo symbol all over it which is such a cute little attention to detail especially because the jacket in the box is actually it's more of a coat than a jacket it's kind of like pinned to her so you have to like unpin it to reveal the inside it's so so nice I love wearing robes and stuff like this because it makes me feel like a king like S Sasha looks so royal and it's really really beautiful I love 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 this if you guys are familiar with this GCDS brand, which one of these is more like on brand for GCDS? Like if you saw it and you didn't know it was a collab, would you be able to guess? I would love to know if that's a thing. Cause I, I'm really, really fashionably illiterate. I've never heard of this brand before until Brad's collabed with them. Gonna be upfront with you. Yeah, or um, Sasha's hair is a really, really beautiful color. It almost has like a red tinge to it. It's really pretty and I love the style that they put it in. It's really, really gorgeous. And I can't wait to show you what it looks like up close. Cause I think it looks phenomenal. Um, Yasmin has this really really beautiful rhinestone thing in her hairline. I have never seen this in a doll before. It's so cool. It looks really beautiful and I love 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 rhinestones. I'm very simple. You put glitter and rhinestones on things and I'm sold. They look beautiful. Both of them have their rhinestones implemented in a really elegant and pretty way. I love Yasmin's hairstyle too. She has that like, I don't really know what to call it. Like the, I always call it a princess do when you take this part of the hair and put it back. I feel like it just looks kind of renaissance-y. It's so pretty. Renaissance-y. <laughs> um, and again, that really nice, soft, curly hair. So, so, so beautiful. And like I mentioned earlier, she has shoes that she borrowed from Chloe. And they're these like clogs. I'll show them to you up closer later. They're really interesting. I think they're clogs. But she's in, she's like on her tippy, tippy toes too. So they're like plat platforms. They're very interesting. And I love this shoe mold. I hope we see more of it if Bratz decides to actually do um, new designs like this for the play line that they're gonna be making in the future or not. I don't know, but these shoe molds are amazing. So, I, well, we definitely won't see this shoe mold again, but maybe this one, cause I really, really like it. And oh my God, yes, one's out so, so, so cool. And the print is the colored version of this art. So, you know, with all the different colors, this kind of has the colors to it, but it's more faded to match with the background better. But this is the in full effect. So you can see the colors that every girl's wearing and they look so, so pretty on here. All right, without further ado, I'm going to turn the camera around so that I can show you everything up closer. And I'm so excited because these dolls are so, so cool. I think y'all are going to fall in love with them just like, just like I am. All right, so the camera's turned around and here are Sasha and Yasmin, so you can see them up closer. So each of them came with one of these little MGA survey things and an instruction booklet. Um, this is just asking for opinions on the product. And then this is how you use the stand. So it tells you there's a certificate in there, get it out. And then um, it also gives you some instructions on how to actually unbox the doll right here. Pretty cool. And then again, they're pretty lacking on extra accessories, but their outfits are so, they have so much going on, so I can forgive it. And they look so, so good. Um, here's those accessories up closer. I really like Yasmin's sunglasses, but I wish they were more see-through like they are in the box. Because when she's actually wearing them, they're, you can kind of see through it, but you see how dark those are? I feel like she can't see through them at all. And I love them. They're really cool. And then she has her purse as well, which says GCDS right there. It says Bratz on the little zipper pull. And there's another one on that side. Painted gold. Really well done. All the hardware is painted. Looks good. And then Sasha's is an electroplated bag in gold and it has a chain. It's very nice. I don't think it opens, but if it does, let me know. Yeah, it can open if you smash it with a hammer. And then the brushes are just the traditional star brushes. This is Sasha's, this is Yasmin's. 
And then the rest is on the dolls. I think 60, 60 was the price point for these. And I actually think that's pretty fair for what you're getting. These are so nice. I really, really like them. Although I am desperately pleading with MGA to please make a play line at a more affordable cost, even if it has to be 30 something. These are really, really high quality and have a lot of really interesting quality points that I understand we can't see on Playline, but I don't think Brat should be reserved for people that it can afford $120 worth of dolls at the drop of a hat and wait three months to receive them. Okay, so we're gonna start by looking at Sasha first and she is divine. She has the much cuter face. And I will say that unfortunately they aren't using stamping for the eyes anymore, they're printing them on. So they have some sort of magical printer that is either printing on the faces or it's a stamp that's being formed by a printer. I'm not 100% sure how it works, but you can see the low resolution of the print with all the dots. It's not ideal. With these, it's not super obvious, like it's not bugging me too much, but I do wish that they would just do stamps or airbrush. Obviously airbrush is the ideal, but especially because these dolls are $60 minimum, right? So I feel like airbrush wouldn't be that much to ask. I don't really know, but regardless, the dolls are absolutely beautiful. I really love their screenings. Another consequence, unfortunately, is that this paint that they use, it's so shiny. I My biggest doll pet peeve, I've, I don't know if I've said this before, but I hate when there's reflection off of them because it makes them look super fake. Um, and it honestly makes them look a little cheap. Um, I know that's kind of a harsh criticism here, but that's one of my biggest pet peeves. So I, I really, really, really don't like that the new ones, and I'll show you on an older brand doll so you can get an idea. Um, they're much shinier in the face. This is an original Rock Angels doll, and you can see that they're not nearly as shiny. They do get some shine on them, but they're not like this. Um, but that's just something I wanted to point out because it's something that really bugs me. Um, other than that, though, I have no complaints. They're so stunning. And the lips are really, really nice. Everything's well placed on mine, thankfully. I really like the blushing. And then there's this interesting, like, is it a contour with the yellow or is it meant to be like a bronzer? It's really, really pretty, but I don't know what it is. The earrings are electroplated and I love electroplated doll, doll jewelry. So I'm really glad to see it all over these dolls. They have a lot of electroplated stuff and I, I don't really mind if something's metal or not, but if it's uh, if it's electroplated, that's good. Like, I'm totally happy with that. Obviously, metal is ideal because it's more realistic, but I don't mind either way. And her hair is super thickly rooted, especially for a doll with braids. I know people will say that looks like a sparse rooting pattern, but think about how bulky the braids are going to be inside of the head and how thick the hair is going to be, like, off of the head, you know, like not actually on the root. I think this looks phenomenal and it seems like enough hair where you can style it really, really well too if you don't want it in this style, but I really like the style. It's simple, but I think it's really, really pretty. So it comes up into this little top knot thing that only encompasses this piece of the hair and then the rest is just down. It looks really pretty and I like when you turn her around the kind of dimensional look it gives her because her hair, because she has like this shorter layer and it's not actually that much shorter, I'm sure. It's just because it's in the knot, but I think it looks really pretty on her. It's really, really nice. And the hair is super nice quality. I don't have a single one that's pulled or anything, and none of them are unraveling. It's really, really nice. I think that it's going to last a long, long time and look super good too. Uh, similar to Swag from LOL OMG, her hair holds up really, really nicely as well. Her coat is probably actually my favorite clothing piece on her, which is saying something because her boots and her like, whatever this is, are so, so cool. But look at this coat. And the faux fur is super soft. And it says Bratz and GCDS printed onto the fur. And it's printed onto the top layer, strangely. Um, and that's it. So if you don't have it all brushed down where it should be, it can look really strange, but um, it's not too big of a deal. And it has this on it, which is also lined. I think I really don't know what the function of this is on a jacket, to be honest. I was going to make a guess. I thought it was something that you used to close the front of the jacket to make it tighter to the body, but I really don't know. But it really has little buttons on it, and the, the jacket's so, so soft. This this doll is really, really satisfying to hold in your hands. She's definitely the more fun one to, like, manipulate and pose and stuff than Yasmin, in my opinion. But I think Yasmin's outfit is more fun to, like, do modeling with. Um, but that's just, like, my opinion on 
kind of how I like for my dolls to feel, so that's going to vary among people. I think it's really tough to recommend one of these dolls. I'll try at the end to recommend one to you, but I'm not really sure if I'll be able to come to, to a consensus. She has this really, really cool piece, and this has a lot of actual metal, I'm pretty sure. Like, this is metal up here, the jump rings and stuff. This part looks like electroplated plastic, but I really don't know for sure. And then the rhinestones are actual rhinestones on little metal facets that are strung together. They're not really strong. It's kind of like a chain. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but it's cool. It's a really, really cool piece. And it is actually all the way around to the back. And it has the little rhinestones on the back as well. I'll show you. Get her off the stand. Oh, I have so many. Oh, I actually have never gotten her off the stand, so she has a rubber band. BC, they go around to the back. They're not as full on the back, but they are there. Um, oh, hold on just a moment. I'm sorry. Her stand rubber band is causing problems. All right, so now I'm going to show you the inside of the coat. I did just notice something, and that's why I cut away again. I'm sorry about that. There's like a hole. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I don't really care. But it's kind of weird that there's just this hole here. Um, it looks intentional, but what would it be for? Yeah, if you guys know what, what this is about, please let me know, because I really have no idea, because it, it's not on the other side. But it looks intentional, because look, it has, like, stitching around it. But I don't know. Very weird. Um, but anyway, the inside is lined with satin, and it has this bunny boo print, and looks pretty good. It's subtle, but it's enough where you can notice it, even from kind of far away from the doll, and I think it's really, really beautiful. And then she also has this really nice bodysuit that has, it's sheer in a lot of places, but like not sheer. Well, it's still sheer, but it has like a modesty thing underneath. I'm, they do appear to be sewn together. It's a turtleneck. It's really nice. I believe it's also long sleeve. Yeah, it's long sleeved as well. And the legs are the piece with the most visual interest, at least in my opinion, because the sides are opened up. And then lastly, we're going to go down to her boots, which are so cool. First of all, the boots have an electroplated heel, which is really nice. You very rarely see that in dolls, and I think it looks really, really, really nice. It makes them really stand out. And you can see this really nice mirror effect on the stand as well. Um, and the boots say GCDS on the leg. The the rest is just kind of a patent leather looking boot. Obviously, it's just plastic. Um, I do have trouble putting these on Sasha, though. I think it's because of the... A bodysuit which does continue oh, I don't want to take them off because they were hard to put on but I'll, I'll do it after I show them to you completely um and then there's a zipper that has a brat zipper pull on it that part isn't painted but it's okay and both boots are the same and then if we take the boot off well hold on I was really impressed by this so I thought I'd show it to you guys she actually has her bodysuit all the way down so you could have it with different shoes and it would still like work really nicely it doesn't have like a weird high water effect and I really really love this a lot of doll brands when there's a tall boot will make the pants cropped and it's so ugly and it makes them like ride up and I hate it so I'm really glad that they did it like this I think that was really cool of them all right so I'm gonna put her boot back on and move her aside so we can take a look at Yasmin up close here's what the shades look like and as you can see they are slightly see-through but not enough like I think they would have been a lot cuter if they were more see-through and they seem like they were designed to be but anyways I'm gonna be taking her shades off so we can see her gorgeous face underneath and I'll show you her shades up close real quick so they are glass all the way like they don't have a separate rest they're not glass, but they're plastic, but you know, that's kind of the design. And you can see how see-through they are. They're more see-through the further away from the face you are, but on her face, you can't see her eyes at, at all, which I wish that you could. She has these little cat ears on there, which are super cute. And then it says GCDS on each arm, which is a really cute touch. I really like them. It also means they can't reuse the mold ever. <laughs> and then her beautiful face. I do think Sasha has the prettier face, but I do really like the makeup pattern that Yasmin has. I think she looks really, really pretty. And you can see her beauty mark, signature for Yasmin, of course, because it's anatomically on her. I don't know why I said it's her signature. Um, She has her blush. I really like the lip color they chose. I think it matches really well with the outfit. And then her makeup is this really pretty purple to a pink to a green, but the green is only really like I don't remember what you call that, but like they drew the wing on um, over, I have no idea, but it's really pretty. And I love, love, love that lilac color. And it does come in quite a bit in the actual outfit. So I think it matches really well. I'm pretty sure my Yasmin has her earrings on wrong, like I said earlier. So on this side, it says DS and on this side, it says GC. They are electroplated in this really pretty like ombre. I don't know how they did that, but it's gorgeous. I really, really like it. Um, and then her choker or like neck neck thing 
also has GCDS on it and it's electroplated in this really pretty ombre just like the earrings and I really 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 like it. It's really really cool. I wish that Sasha had more jewelry and I don't know what I mean by that because she has so much but I really appreciate that Yasmin has so many individual pieces of jewelry. Um, I also wanted to pay some special note to this thing. I do think it is sewn in the front and the back and that's it so if you were to cut those two ties it would pop right off. Uh, I really like it. It's a really good idea. Oh it, there's a there's a tie there too. I really like it and it's actually something you could pretty easily do yourself because these you these things individually you can buy at the like jewelry store or like the not the jewelry store but like at the hobby store for not very much money in my um if I'm remembering correctly so this might be something interesting to do for like custom dolls in the future for me or if I'm like styling a doll because I just think it's really pretty and then her hair is styled back in kind of a loose braid thing that's kind of framing her face. I'm so sorry, she is not wanting to stay on her stand. Um, and you can see her really, really nice soft hair. I really love it. It almost has a kind of green tone to it, which is similar to my hair, so I really like it. It's really, really pretty. I don't know what I mean by green tone. Y'all know I don't know what an undertone is, but that's kind of the vibe it's giving me. I don't know. Anyways, she has this belt that says Bratz. These are everywhere in fashion. It have been for a long time. I don't think they're going anywhere, but um, it's a really, really cute piece. And these are actually separate pieces. It isn't metal. It's electroplated. I, I'm just going to say that word a thousand times in this video. Um, <laughs> but it's really, really nice. And you can see that each piece is separate, which I appreciate a lot. It adds a lot of dimensionality to it. And I think it looks super cute. The dress. We have to get to the dress. It's so cool. Oh, is there like an undershirt under here? There appears to be an undershirt of some sort, which is really cool. I don't want to take the dress off yet because I really like that the jewelry is all kind of tied in place and I don't want to undo that, but it appears that she has some sort of underpiece, which is pretty cool. Um, the dress is so pretty. So it it's very like loose, but then it's like fitted in certain spots like the waist and the ends of the sleeves and the shoulders. So it gives this really, really interesting silhouette. I really love it. I'd love to have a dress like this. And I love, love, love that it has the print of the Bronze Girl. So you can see Chloe there. Yasmin's right here. You can't really see her face. There's Jade and Sasha in orange. I really, really like that color on her. So pretty. So, so cool. And everything, of course, continues onto the back. I wonder if there's variations in the placement or if they're standardizing the placement of the curls on the actual outfit. I'd love to know. Um, cause I feel like if they were to become a commodity in the future, you know, they'd be like, Chloe, fully visible on the front, or Sasha, fully visible on the front, you know? Um, it's really interesting. I'll have to look at other people's dolls. So I can see that there's this crinoline, but it's sewn onto the outfit. I'm just wondering about the sleeve. Like, is it a separate piece or not? It's really cute regardless. Um, really, really nice. Really, really cute. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I just... I don't know how to describe the outfit fully, but I really love it. And I love the way it makes her legs look. It makes her legs look so tiny, but it also makes them very visually interesting. And I love that they opted to just leave her legs alone. She doesn't have anything on them. And I think it makes, I don't know, because the top of her outfit's so busy. I really appreciate how simple the bottom is. And then it doesn't appear that she's wearing shoes from GCDS. I mean, maybe she is, but on the box, it says she borrowed them from Chloe, which is adorable. And they are definitely something Chloe would wear. I think that cements though, that Chloe and Jade are not going to be in this line. Um, but regardless, super, super cute. Look at that. They have this, like, oil paint vibe going on. And these really natural colors. Really, really like these shoes. I love the mold so much. Isn't it such a pretty mold? I don't know. These shoes are my favorite, which is really saying something. Because, again, I love big knee-high patent leather boots. I love a good boot. Um, all right. So now I'm going to turn the camera back around and give my final thought. All right, so I wanted to make a quick special note about these stands because they are so cool. I did mention earlier that you can remove the doll from the actual stand and you don't have to have this big piece. Instead, you can just have the little piece, which makes it easier to display them on a shelf with others. But then if you want them displayed either alone or to have more space to themselves, you can snap this in place. And it actually works really, really well. I'm really impressed with the stand design here. But it just disregarding that, thank you so much, MGA for an actual stand, just a simple hip-hugging stand. Felicia's stand is so bad. If you got, I know it looks fine, but if you guys own that Holiday Felicia doll, that stand is atrocious. Saddle stands already don't work super well most of the time, but then with that weird knee thing it has going on and nothing holds her, she has a big heavy dress, so she needs an even more secure stand and it's just a mess. The hip-hugger is tried and true, guys. It works super well. 
and you can adjust the height of it a little bit too. It's just, it's a really nice piece. Oh, I'm noticing now that there is metal on the back of Yasmin's little belt um, for the lobster clasp and the jump ring, so that's pretty nice. Um, if I had to recommend one doll, and this is really hard because again, I'm very conflicted because I think Sasha's base doll is better. I really, really love her face and her hair and there's never been another Sasha doll that looks anything like this. Whereas there's definitely been Bratz dolls with a pretty similar screening to this going on, but I really, really, really like the hair as well. But again, like it's not as um, different as the Sasha doll is. So I think the recommendation would really come, be, come down to what you want to use the doll for. I think if you're wanting to use the doll to like redress her and really play with her a lot, I think Sasha's the better choice. I think she has a lot more pieces that you can have a lot more fun with and mix and match a lot. She has the big coat. She has this really cool harness piece. She has some jewelry that you could work with. She has the really beautiful base doll and the dolls are fully articulated. I didn't really think that was worth saying, but they have the elbow and wrist articulation, which I love. Um, and she has the bodysuit and the boots and all of these pieces would work really, really well if you mix and match them in other ways. Um, whereas Yasmin just has the dress and then the really cool jewelry, but you know, there's a lot less to play around with here. But if I had to recommend one doll just based off of, you know, I, my personal opinion on the dolls, I think I would still go with Yasmin just because I love the dress so much. It's so interesting. Neither of these dolls have outfits that I feel like we've ever seen on a doll before. I feel, I guarantee like a Tonner doll or an Integrity doll or something has had an outfit like this, but in the realm of dolls that I collect, which is general Playline with some limited edition versions of Playline dolls, um, these are so unique. I think the $60 price point, it's a lot, but especially considering this is a collab with a fashion house, that's actually a really good deal. I think you're getting a lot for these dolls and another thing to note that I think is very important with expensive dolls like um, limited dolls for example special edition collector dolls you're not just paying for the product itself but you're also paying for the artistry of it um, if we compare these to the 2018 brats these blow them out of the water even though these only have one outfit um, each I just I think that they are more effective at what they're doing I think they're really really nice and I, I don't know I just think the price point is pretty fair honestly um, considering other dolls of this caliber that come out, 60 seems more than fair, so I'm actually kind of surprised by that. If you did buy them from the GCDS website, they were 80, I think, which is kind of interesting that they would be more expensive on that site. I don't know. Um, I'd love to know what you think of these dolls in general. I definitely want to hear who your favorite of the two is and why. I do- these are kind of cool too because you don't really need the set. Like if you only got Yasmin or if you only got Sasha, you wouldn't feel like you needed the other one because they stand alone really, really nicely. Um, and I also really appreciate that despite GCDS being the designer, there's not like a billboard on the doll being like, this is a GCDS collab, you know? There's lots of little... Sasha has the most, um, I guess, visually, like, this is GCDS piece with all the GCDS on the coat, but it's in a way that really... I really like it, and it's equal with the Bratz logo, too. Oh, this is totally meant to be a shoe. I just noticed there's a shoe on the bottom. <laughs> there's a shoe sole on the bottom. This is really cool. Um... I really appreciate that they didn't just use this as an opportunity to use the dolls as a billboard. They actually came up with these really thoughtful, beautiful designs for them. And I think these are phenomenal. I think these are super special. I have a great feeling that these are going to come back in stock. I know Yasmin is in stock, at least as of now when I'm recording on Amazon.com, and I will be putting a link in the description. It's just a normal link. It's not an affiliate link or anything. If you see a link in the description of a YouTube video and it doesn't say it's an affiliate link, but it has a really, really long thing after the link, it doesn't just say slash and then a couple of letters and numbers, do not click that link because that is an affiliate link and they're getting paid for it and it's illegal for them to get paid for it without disclosing it to you guys. Just wanted to give you a heads up because I've noticed a lot of doll people do that um, and it's really not acceptable. Um, anyways, that's it for this video. For real this time, thank you so, so much for watching and I'm I'm really excited about these and I'm so grateful I was able to get them. If you're... Yasmin's or Sasha's boot just fell off again if you weren't able to get them or if something happened with your order where they canceled it hang in there I promise you'll at least be able to get one of them I know you can get Yasmin uh Sasha's gonna be a little bit tricky but I think she's gonna come back in stock don't give in to the scalpers yet I promise you have time don't let people profit off of basically stealing the dolls from other people who would have bought them and enjoyed them um as they were anyway that's it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching for real for real this time bye I wanted to show them on display with some of my other Bratz dolls. They're in my inbox collection, but like, how cute do they look up here? I just wanted to show how well they actually display with the others. I think they 
look enough like the older brats which i really appreciate as much as i love collector dolls that kind of have a different vibe than the older brats i really appreciate that they blend in rather nicely because that's mostly what people want is kind of dolls that invoke the vibe of the old ones but have new interesting fashions so these just 10 out of 10 i absolutely love them all right for all this time thanks so much for watching bye